This is your moment of clarity, and I'm Lee Camp. You'll hear your politicians blabber on about a lot of things, right? Hell, Ohio alone, this past election cycle, saw literally hundreds of thousands of political commercials. And it appears the only effect it had was that the sales of feminine products shot through the roof due to so many ads for douchebags. So you'll hear your politicians talk about a lot of shit. But you know one thing you won't hear them mention? Corn. That's right. Corn. Before 1979, corn was used for little more than corn cob pipes and bad jokes. But nowadays, you don't see a corn cob pipe unless you're friends with a banjo player or a scarecrow is banging your wife. <sighs> so the corn lobby convinced the government to subsidize corn. And it's now to the tune of between 10 and 30 billion dollars per year. More than wheat, rice, and soy combined. Corn is now in three out of four products you eat from the supermarket. Think about that. You grab a soda, you're eating corn. You enjoy some yogurt, you're enjoying corn. You eat dried fruit sweetened with corn. A chicken nugget has 37 ingredients. Oh. 30 of which are made from eggplant. I'm, I'm sorry, corn, it was corn. So why? Are we continuing to call it a chicken nugget? It's a fucking corn nugget with a hint of chicken. Then there's high fructose corn syrup, which finds itself in more food than Kirstie Alley after a breakup. Since it was introduced, obesity rates in this country have tripled. Corn syrup has also been proven to affect cognitive abifity. Co uh, lifted it. Co cognitive uh, phil 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 Soda companies keep using it because it's 20% cheaper than sugar. At least that's why they say they use it. I think they use it because they know they need dumb as candy corn customers to keep buying and drinking a liquid that is known to fuck up their cognitivities. And finally, there's ethanol, a fuel made from corn that is far less efficient than gasoline and causes more global warming emissions. The best part is that over the course of one year, we take enough corn to feed 412 million people for a year and we turn it into ethanol. How fucking sick is that? So I've got a better idea. Let's take those people who were gonna starve to death during the course of the year anyway, and turn them into the fuel that powers our cars. Cause we don't give a shit about those people starving, but you know what we do give a shit about? Cheap gasoline. Don't you care?